Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon, it will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload the new videos. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel and if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell, it will be the only way that you will be updated. In today's video, we, we are going to look at the most seven important tips if you are planning to go and work in Kuwait. Remember, we are talking about Kuwait and the Kuwait labor laws. Remember, most of these Gulf countries have become very favorite destinations for work for different nationalities coming from Asia, coming from Africa, and gravely coming from across the globe of the world. Why? Because of it's one of the main reasons is the tax-free money that they give as salaries, which is quite a little bit bigger at the one. And when we look at Kuwait, has also become one of the favorite destinations because one of the, it touched one of the strongest currencies around the world, which is pretty much very good when it comes to conversion back to the normal currencies. And also, sometimes the roads and um, the springages uh, and um, roads and roads that governs the labor laws are also very important and keep on attracting people to go and work in that country. And in today's video, we are going to look at the seven, seven tips or the seven important tips for, for you to know or to know before you go to Kuwait or what you must know as you are in Kuwait in case you are employed or planning to go for any employment at one or the other. That is what we want to look at. That what should you know? One, ensure that the employment contract is in writing. If you are given work either by a company or any sponsor, make sure that before you sign, it's not a verbal contract, but that contract should be strictly in sign. For that, in case of anything that happens, in case of any misunderstanding, you definitely have a copy or you have where to start from. Number two, cross verify the salary indicated in the employment contract with the work permit as agreed. Make sure that salary that you sign in the employment contract should be the same salary, should be the same figures that should be indicated uh, with what we call the work permit. And that should be with still with the agreed and the consent of you, the person signing that agreement, which is quite very important. Uh, the labor, the labor relations department always emphasize people to make sure that to take a look out at every clause that is or every uh, clause uh, significantly and uh, that you get to sign in those contracts. Another one is that keep records of salary and other payments in case you are employed in Kuwait and you receive salary or any payments, please make sure that you keep records such that in case of any indemnity compensation, your employer does not gain against you and he doesn't have to say that he paid your indemnity or compensation. So that one will act as proof in case there is a disagreement between your employer. Then number three, number three, it is illegal for expatriates to work in Kuwait X. If you don't have what you call an approved work visa, remember this work visa must be sponsored by a Kuwait national. So it is very legal and it's a police case if you get to work in Kuwait without a valid work visa. I know most of you must be there, but make sure your employer looks for you a valid visa, looks for you a valid visa or that otherwise you will face what you call the legal action. Also, something number we look at number 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 four. We say employers cannot cancel an employment contract, uh, employment uh, contract or residence unless all the dues or indemnity or termination uh, are being paid in full. Meaning that the employer has no right to cancel or to cancel your work visa. Uh, if he has not paid you all your dues, he has to pay all the, what you are demanding, then he can cancel out your visa. That is according to the labor laws in the country. Still something that we need to understand is number five, 
An employer cannot give a notice of termination when the employer is sick or is injured. In case you are sick and you're injured, then an employer is not allowed to give you a notice, a notice, a notice, a notice letter that is stopping you from work because you are injured or because you are sick. It is not, it is against the labor laws and it is against and the rights of workers in a Kuwait. Then in case, in case, in case, another number six, in case of any disputes uh, between you, the employer and the worker, definitely the best, the best of the best, the best, the, the best solution is you should seek what you call the legal advice. Remember, there's what we call the labor relations department office that normally deals with all the disagreements, all the uh, the queries between the employer and the, the employee. So in case there's a disagreement, don't hesitate, go make a complaint with the labor relations department and everything will be sorted so that you definitely as the worker you remain with your rights and his as the employee will also remain with the, his rights in a very good way number seven keep photocopies of all documents indicating the work permits in case you've been in that country for more than five years make sure that you keep all the photocopies of the old documents including what we call the work permit remember there's a period where you'll have to go uh, when your contract is finished and you'll have to be paid what we call the end of service bonus so in case of any discrepancy in case of any um, disagreement between you and the employer you definitely have a proof that is going to coil it up and is going to save what you worked for at the time thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember if you're new to this channel consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell i'll always be more than happy by the way feel free to put a comment in the comment section tell me what you've liked about the video any supplement and addition i'll always be more than happy to get back to you remember it's mix from the mix creation tv see you again in the next video as we try to see more of the kuwait labor laws